Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Law Service Now from Zero to the Advanced in English. And today we are going to see brand new topic that is called your report creation along with the live example. Basically, in every place we need reports. What is the report? You are having it for COVID. Have you seen that kind of a website where government is Pasting your report analysis of the COVID. Similarly, I want a report card of the students. I want a report details of XYZ data. So everywhere report is really required. So without report, the analysis of data is very vague. With the help of report, we can understand what exactly data is talking because data will talk. Only the figures, only the number will talk and once you present this in a pictorial representation, then everyone will be easy to understand that particular part. So if you see my screen over here, these are topics which we are going to cover is, we are going to cover report section. We will configure the report. We will see how we can create the report into the bar, graphs, pie, donuts, all these options available. We will show how we can do that. How we can share the report, how we will create the dashboard, how we will schedule it and how we will export it. All this topic we are going to see in this particular video of report creation. So first of all, let's see what report is. So you can see in your on your screen, we have this laptop figure where we have some kind of analysis which looks very good. You have seen over here a bar graph, correct? A pie chart, a line series. So what are all these? These are called reports. In a pictorial way, instead of legacy data way like Excel sheet or CSV sheet where we have a data sheet like that, instead of that, I want a report to be published in such a way that it will be really interactive and people will understand in a better way. So what is report? In ServiceNow reports is to summarize, analyze the data stored in the table. Because as we know that ServiceNow is a game of table, everything in ServiceNow is table, so we will extract the report from the table. And we will create a meaningful and good visual so that everyone will understand what basically report is in a good format. So this is called report. If you see the uses of report, basically it is used to track the performance, which, which ticket is lagging, what is the SLA status, what, what, who is working on which ticket, everything we will see with the help of report. Actually, we will analyze it. We will see the performance, we will see the trend, trend of data from last month to uh, upcoming months. We can predict the data also while we implement reports with AI. We can predict the data as well. What will be the next data for the 10, uh, 10 years? What will be the future prediction? All we can do with the help of report section. So we will rearrange the report. We will reanalyze the report and we'll put on a dashboard. And once the dashboard is created, it will be very interactive. You can talk with the dashboard. if you. Refresh the dashboard, all things will be visible. So I'll show you all this in this particular video. The report can be a form CS, uh, the, or the data is can be a form CSV Excel sheet. We can convert this into PDF. We can share with the customers. We can convert them to the Excel sheet. We can send it to the customers as per their requirement. So the use case will be, so I'm going to create a report in pie chart format, showing the list of incident ticket in high priority. So I want a list of ticket from the incident table having a high priority, then I'm going to create a dashboard and then we will schedule it as per the time mentioned. So let's go back to the service now page. Yep, over here. Now over here, what we have to do is we have to type reports. Once you type report, you will see a lot of options coming up, but what we have, you have to choose, you have to choose report under that you have to choose view and run. Make this as a favorite. So that it will come and sit on your favorite section over here, reports, view and run. So basically this, under this only we are going to create our brand new report as per the requirement which is mentioned over here. Okay, so I'll go back, click on view and run. Once you click on view and run, a page will open in front of your screen. That is your report home page. And on the top right, you will notice there will be a button called create a re report. And these are the already existing report in my system. Maybe when you have your ServiceNow instance, you can also check. You should also be having these kind of a reports already existing by default, predefined. 
So it's a demo kind of a report. You can use it or you can look into it. What data they are going to analyze it. But I'm going to create my new report by clicking on the option on the top called create a report. So once we type create a report, we will have on the left hand side, what should be the name of the report? What should be the source? What should be the data source? All these options will be coming up on the left. So let me put a report name as Event priority okay, this is my report name now we have a source type called data and we have a source type called tables we have two kind of a source first type is called data source here we will see we have list of data source available from here if you want to get a data to your report we can use it but this part we are going to see when we read about the data source in the integrations part as of now we will use a source from the table we'll choose tables and which table i'm going to choose incident since i select incident over here you will notice over here uh, nearby this place you will get a filter icon we'll go to the incident first type incident yeah see a filter is coming now what is the requirement See, the requirement is create a report in pie chart showing list of incident ticket. So over here, I have to click here and I have to choose priorities high. And one more thing, guys, from where these options are coming? These options are coming from the incident table. So what is incident table? We will see that, op that video also in the upcoming uh, video series. Admin series only we are going to bring this topic incident problem change. What is incident? We are going to see very soon. But this is a table in service now where all the issues are being raised. If you type here incident, open the incident. See, this is the place where you will see list of all the incidents available in service now. Any issue you are having and the priority section is here. That's why if I select this filter icon, I can see all the options coming from the incident table. So my thing is priority is critical. If I run this on the top, I will be able to see all the incident available over here, which are having critical priority and the, the number is 27. You can notice. But this is in which format? A row and column format, Excel sheet format. I don't want in this format. I want in, uh, I guess I want in uh, pie chart format. How we can do that? Once you do this, first let's save this form. Yeah, my form is saved. Now go to the next button. This is the place called type where you will choose your type of graph which you want. You want the bar graph, you want horizontal bar, you want histogram, you want Prato. This is my donor, this is my pie, pie this is semi donor, this is time. So all these options are available over here. Which graph you want, you can choose it. So I'm going to choose pie. Click on pi and click on run. A pi is coming up. See, pi is divided into two halves. One is showing you false 10. Another is showing you true 17. What is this false true? This thing, you will get answered once I click on next. Let me click on next. It went to the third page called configure. And the first topic here is called group by active. So this ticket is act active false this ticket is active true if i go back to incident table if i apply a filter for example priority is critical or high run this correct i have 27 now you will notice there are how many tickets inactive you can put a filter again odd and active run this you will notice there are 17 which is active true go back here also we have 17 active true because of this part so what we can do here we can change our group by so let's say i want to divide this between categories so i will choose category okay and just run this you will notice the graph is changed this particular section belongs to inquiry category this is software category this is hardware 
this is network, this is a non category, no category selected, and this is called database category. So you can do a group by on your graph. Any group by you want, you can do it. This is up to your choice. Whatever the group by you want, you can do it. You can add additional group by you also. Click on the additional group by. So in this, let's say I want a uh, caller. And let's say I want. Uh, you can choose a lot of options available from the incident. So let's say choose. And resolve by or something or let's let's choose channel do we have channel yeah okay and run this come down you will notice there's an option called group by category if i click here choose the caller this graph will change according to it see this is joe employee this is others this is one whatever the colors we have it is showing me if i choose channel it will show me the list of channel currently we have phone we have email so 17 tickets created from by clock calling to the helplex one with the help of email another with the help of empty there's no uh, channel selected so you can use additional group by also on this particular graph you can choose display data table once you choose display data table run it you will notice that this data table is being displayed. So there are nine tickets under inquiry seven, five, three, two, one. These are the list of options available. You can choose it on the left hand side. Configure function field. If I click on function. Okay, first of all, let me save it. Yeah, click on function field. What you will notice here, we have the option to put a label name and what kind of a date we, we want in the decimal format duration format this part i will talk about when we create our server side of our scripting and we can create a function as of now as an admin we don't require this option called configure function field i will come back to this so you can ignore this section as of now just for admin series just as of now just ignore this section i'll come back to this how we can configure the function field as well okay let's go back to the count Aggregation type count. You can see it is giving me the count nine, one, two, three, five, seven. If I don't want a count, I want something else, average or sum or the count distinctions, maximum, minimum, standard deviation. These are the mathematical operations. If I click on sum, they will they will ask me what kind of a sum you want. You want a business duration sum or you want a let's click here. Resolve time sum, child incident sum. So basically, if I click on business duration, click on run, it will show me how many times has elapsed. 131 days, 13 hours, 58 minutes, 57 seconds. So all these are displayed. Total business duration elapsed. These are called business durations. So as of now, you can choose anything. But in the better picture, we will always choose count. That will give me the number of tickets available in that particular section as per your requirement. And the last option is called maximum number of groups. Maximum number of groups, you can add it. Up to 20, you can add. Or you can choose by default. So if I go over my cursor here, read this line, select the maximum number of a group to be displayed on the report. So you can add up to 20 number of group on your report. Maximum. Group with higher value are included first. So if, group, if the group has a higher value, it will be included first on the report. Fine. And the show others is nothing but let me show you. If I click on caller, you will notice there are a lot of callers available and we have other two. If I uncheck this option, other two will be not available now. See, there is no other two. Let me go back and check caller. See, there is no other two. So other nothing but you want to show other options also. You can show that. Now run this. Come down. Caller and you have showed others so as simple as that whatever you want to configure you have the only this section which is very important first section is the data where you will put a table name a report name choose the table second section is type where you will choose the graph which you want third section is your configure where you configure your uh, stuff and last section is your style you can change the color you can change the chart size this make it small and run it this will be little small 
to make it medium run it it will be little medium so you can drill down this you have a decimal precision of two this all are self-explanatory you can read go through it if you click on this you will get the color option dark blue light green whatever you want you can choose it if the title if you want to modify the title you can give a chart title whatever you wanted to check a uh, short chart title if you choose report only that will show the report if you select always it will show the type chart title always it's all up to you what you are choosing chart size chart color whatever you want as per your requirement so we are done with this report part over here then save it on the top now let's go back to the requirement create a dashboard so first of all once the report is created you have you can delete it with the help of delete button you can delete the report you can click on this option for sharing to click on sharing option we have four options first is share you can share this to a dedicated member dedicated group dedicated users by clicking on the share button once you click on share button you have this option called this report to be visible only to me means only i can see this report nobody else can see this report everyone means everyone can see this report if i will give a rule call itil only that all the user having itil role can see this particular report so i can restrict the user based on roles also if i don't give any rule all the users can see that particular report irrespective of they have rules or not and the last option is group and users you can mention a group name you can mention a user whatever the user you want to select for example i want to share with abraham lincoln okay i select it and uh, the this abraham user will able to receive the sharing option if you want if i right click and remove it click and remove it so now everyone nobody can see your report until you mention the user or group as of now let's choose this option visible to me yeah now the next option is schedule it you can schedule the report with the help of this schedule option once you click on schedule you will be reaching to the schedule part where you can notice report name is automatically selected this is your schedule name automatically written and you have to focus over here when you want to run so go back schedule it for every monday so here you can choose the option called a uh, weekly monday weekly monday and choose a time it is 11 am gmt i have purposely used gmt the reason is you can go back over here on the preferences go to the display part what time zone i have selected gmt you can choose the time zone whichever you want that is your gmt time zone in the room version of service now once you click here you will have this option called under setting you have this option called uh, setting over there go ahead and check on the right hand side you will have that option called gmt so let me show you in the room version so i have one more service now which is in uh, different version let me log in and let me show you how uh other versions time zone look like yeah click on log in you wanted to see the time zone click on the setting option here only you have you have the time zone over here you need to click on the preference that's it here we have the time zone right away but over here we have the preference part we have the display part and the display we have the time zone so anything is fine guys whatever the instance you are using doesn't matter choose the time zone now i have selected time zone called 11 am so i will type here 11 okay so every week monday this particular report will be sent to the user i will select let's say i am selecting abraham lincoln who is my manager lock it it will always go to abraham lincoln on monday you can add a group also let's say at any group admin team is there it will go to the admin team you can mention the email address also outside service now let's say x at the rate gmail dot com okay the report will be shared to that particular person who belong who has this email id you can put a subject line you can put a message what should be the type of report you can select it is you want it pdf you want it image you want it embedded image you can use this option or you want this in a gif format zip it and send it or you have any extra reports to be included with this particular report you can use this option called include with you click here if you have any report select it schedule email report select it and then send it i don't have so i'm not selecting it 
go to the top and uh, yeah we have a conditional option click on the condition here you can write a script also as i promised till developer uh, series we will not write any kind of a script so we'll skip this section and there's an option called omit if no record it means that do not send email if report filtered as no record means if, if this particular filter report has no records to display don't submit don't do not send the report the scheduling report is nothing but you will schedule the report based on your run activity which you are selecting if it is weekly monthly any date you can choose periodically whatever you want you can choose it or uh, daily you can choose it your wish that is called your scheduling the report i hope you are clear now there's another option called export to pdf once you click on export to pdf you can generate the pdf right now let me export it and let me show you how it look like yeah it's downloaded let me download this is yes, open this see this report look like this yeah let it load it you yeah, see all these details are there inquiry software all these options are coming up on the report this is how and even you can attach this report to your outlook email or the gmail you can send it with to your client customers or managers who are asking this this is called export to dashboard now we are left with only one option called add to dashboard so for that let me create a dashboard first and let then i will add it to the dashboard we will go to the first page okay and type here dashboard once you type dashboard you have this option called self service dashboard open this yeah so out of the box there will be a dashboards available already in your service now you can go ahead and check it you will have all these options available if you don't have then please let me know in the comment section that you don't have this uh, uh demo dashboard available but we have this dashboard click on the create new dashboard on the top right we'll create similar kind of dashboard let's say our dashboard name is manager or let's say ravi dashboard dashboard and who is the owner system admin who is system admin the one who is logged in here the one who has the authority to create a report the one who is creating a report or dashboard so he is the owner i can i can use a group also over here let's say admin group we don't have the dashboard group okay we, we have only this groups we can create our own new dashboard group called admin so as of now will not create similar to whatever we have done so far order in which order you want your dashboard to be visible and you can restrict the dashboard with the help of rules so if i click on edit option let's see if i bring admin only admin can see the dashboard else nobody can see the dashboard and or nobody can do changes on the dashboard if i give a rule called admin only it is restricted to the admin i will not use this once you're done with this we have the last option called disable multiple element selection so you cannot you cannot filter the breakdown dashboard currently i have created a normal dashboard we cannot make it available for the breakdown dashboards what is breakdown dashboard the dash if you see this you go over your cursor over here again so when you apply a filter to the multiple breakdown elements what is this breakdown elements so if your report has a multiple breakdowns or if your if your report has a you can say interactive reports as a interactive filters where you have a different break, breakdowns then you can use this option but this part we have not covered in this particular section of reports when we read about admin uh, developer there we will see what are called interactive dashboards what are called uh, interactive filters there we will check this option as of now forget this what is this display multiple element section not needed we are done with this click on this option called view dashboard now you will notice a dashboard will be created and the name will be ravi's dashboard blank dashboard will be created yeah let's wait it's still loading let me close this press the page yeah blank dashboard is created add widget using a widget picker what is this widget widget is basically a placeholder 
placeholder means a place here you will add your data in a single packet means if i type here dashboard again open this see these are called placeholders the small boxes see placeholder inside this placeholder we will add a data with the help of plus sign on the top that is called your add widget click on the widget what report we have created so click on this option called report under this what is my report this is my report incident critical report click here and add it or go back to your report click on the add dashboard and choose your dashboard which you have created so what is my dashboard Ravi's dashboard tab name there is no tab name for me Ravi's dashboard only if I click on add from here also we can add it or we can add it from this option called add let's add it from here you can see incident critical data dashboard is created and report will be added like this you can make this small also by dragging to the left correct you have on the top pencil button this pencil button is only available for admins if you are non-admin you will not be able to see this pencil button we have this option called refresh by click on refresh the report will reload again we can choose color see? you can choose channel whatever you want you can choose it yeah let's choose category and you have a setting icon where you can change the color title and header color all these are self-explanatory you can go to it i'm closing it as of now this is my report you can share the dashboard as well with a group user or role for example click on plus sign add a recipient if i wanted to share with abraham lincoln i will use abraham lincoln and i can give him permission to view this report only view can view okay and send an email notification hi a b r e h m abraham i have created a report to have a look so he will receive an email notification and he can click on that link to view this particular report share he can only view now this report will this one user was invited when changing a dashboard permission, dashboard group permission is no longer applied. Obviously, we have not given any permission. So, this report will be visible to the customers or client based on the group we have attached, based on the user we have attached over here. Abraham Lincoln can view this particular report. If I click on minus, he will be able. This is on the report part. This is how you will create a report. If you click on any of this section, if I'm, if I'm clicking here, it is taking me to the, that particular section. See how many are there? Nine. Nine are there. See, if I click on one, open this, it will show me only one. So it is so interactive that you can talk with it. It's sh saying you that please click me to get more details. See, I'm getting a more details by clicking here. So that is called your dashboard. On dashboard, we can add a report as well. And this entire concept over here is called reports. Okay, now one last thing I wanted to show you. Go to the emails. Open this emails. And you will notice Abraham Lincoln has received an email saying that Ruby dashboard has been shared with you. So in the real time, you will receive an email on the actual mailbox. Currently, there is an option called, uh, sorry, email ID called at the example.com. This is not the real email ID. So how we can check that? Open this particular report. Come down. You have this option called preview and email. Click on this. Now view dashboard. So if I click on view dashboard, it will take me to the dashboard page itself. See? So when Abraham Lincoln will log in, he will be able to see this dashboard. Let's go back to the Abraham Lincoln page. Not Abraham Lincoln page, sorry, Abraham Lincoln account. A B Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Impersonate. Okay, we are on AL. Now, do he have access to emails? He don't have access to emails. So what I can do is I'll go back to the dashboard and I'll click on this view dashboard. Whether he's able to view it? Yes, he's able to view. Report visible only to a specific user and group. Now there's a catch guys. 
I have shared only the dashboard, but I have not shared the report to this user. You remember, I have shared the report only to me. So report will not be visible to Abraham Lincoln, but dashboard will be visible. So remember, this is a direct ask interview question. If I share a dashboard, but if I don't share the report, but report is present on the dashboard, will a user will be able to see the report? The answer will be no. Remember, this is the live example I am showing you in front of your screen. Listen to my question. Can we or uh, if we share the dashboard to the user and on that dashboard there is a report but that report is not shared with that user. Will he or she will be able to see the report? Your answer is no. In that case you have to make your report also visible to that user. So That's what I am going to do now. Let's go back and impersonate. Go to your report which you have created, click on share option, click on share, click on group, click on user and then share with A, B, Abraham Lincoln, fine, click on OK, now this report is shared with Abraham Lincoln, save it, now go back, impersonate user, Abraham Lincoln, impersonate, go back to the business dashboard, again, now you will notice, Report will also be shared with him. So, we got an error again. What is this error? Access to this content denied based on report viewer ACM. It means that Abraham Lincoln is not having a role itself to see the reports. So, uh, when we read about the role series, remember we have given the module roles like incident manager roles admin roles or xyz roles correct now we'll go back again we'll end impersonate this is the live things which you will be seeing guys so don't get surprised that if you get this kind of error so we'll go back to the user profile open the users search for abraham lincoln what's the name id a b h well let me check what's the name Abraham Lincoln, open this Abraham Lincoln, come down, give him a role called report underscore view. He don't have a role, you can see, he don't have a role, he is only having a junior role. Now let's add him a role called uh, ITIL, which is a basic route which I am giving and let's add him a role called report underscore admin. So two roles I am adding to this user. Bam Blinker. Now let's go back. Impersonate user. Bam Lincoln. Impersonate. Now let's go back to email view dashboard. Now Abraham Lincoln will be able to see this particular report on the dashboard. There you go. So this dashboard is shared by Ravi, system admin, and he he is able to see this particular report. So remember, if a user is not able to see the reports, click the module access. This is how you will share the dashboard and this is how you will share the report. So that's all on the today's part. We'll meet in the next video. I hope you have liked this video. If you really like this video, do subscribe and we'll meet in the next series. So thank you so much.